Hello everyone, remember that DJI Mimo app that you had to register your um, Osmo with? Well, it turns out you can do a lot more with it besides settings, and I'm going to show you how right now. So, you can do some editing on the fly. So we've got my clips there, which are selected. We'll bring them in, and as you can see, they're two together here, and it automatically links them. So this is some footage I took of uh, an abbey when I was out and about. It's quite quite nice, unedited footage. It's directly from the phone itself. And as you can see, it looks quite good on there. So I've got the two clips, we're gonna join them together. So there's a bit of wind noise on there. Let's hit the mute button and get rid of the wind noise from this. And I wanna reduce the speed by 0.5. And go back to the uh, first clip, reduce the speed by 0.5. And it's muted. You can also adjust the uh, contrasts, sharpness, but I'm pretty happy with it as it is, so I'm going to leave it as it is and uh, just come out of that by X. Okay, so looks pretty smooth now, the speed's been reduced and the wind noise is gone. So let's move on now and uh, just skim through, see what footage is like, where they join. And I can see there's a little bit of an issue there, it seems as though it points down towards the grass at the end. Now I don't really want that on there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to reduce the clip down a little bit, just to get rid of that. So I don't want that on there. So now when I go back into the clip, I should have shortened it down, and if I skim through, you can see it ends just there as we come past the tree and into the tower perfect it's exactly what i wanted so let's have a look at the other clip now if i skim through this quickly i'm pretty happy with all of it up until that point don't really want myself in there at the end um not exactly the uh, the nicest of looking images so we'll just cut that back a bit and have that end a little bit earlier so now both of the clips have been reduced in size, they've had the volume dropped. Um, let's pop a title on. So just go into the title tab and select the title. And we'll put uh, the Abbey. Okay, and then just hit return and there we go. It comes up on the screen, which is pretty good. You've got a couple of choices you can use uh, for the styles on this. And if we want to go into the filters, let's try one of the filters. Um, I'm going to use memory, um, because I think it just softens it down a little bit. Um, but there's plenty to choose from in there. And it will apply to both clips. So you only have to select the one. As long as they're linked, it'll apply to both. So I'm pretty happy that looks uh, pretty good, pretty much what I wanted. Uh, so now I think would be a good time to look at adding some uh, music on it. Now you've got a fairly uh, comprehensive music library um, already in the app. Uh, there's plenty to choose from, so we try a couple out here. Let's try this uh, butterfly, see what that's like. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's uh, do for what I want. So we'll select that one and uh, again that will apply to both of the clips uh, you haven't got to drag it out to length it automatically applies it and uh, it works out perfectly now I'm going to bin this project off because I've already produced one earlier uh, this is uh, what I did on an earlier one it took a little bit more time on it but again it only took a few minutes to do and um, I'm pretty pleased uh, certainly for working on the fly from a phone it's, uh, it's pretty impressive, so uh, take a look, see what you think. Now I did all my editing on uh, an iPhone 6 Plus, which is now a pretty old phone uh, in comparison to the new ones. So if you've got a newer phone, you'll probably find that uh, it'll work out a lot quicker, exporting will be a lot quicker, and you're probably able to export a much better quality than uh, what I'm doing here. But for speed, and if you're wanting to get something up on 
the internet or to send to someone this is a pretty good uh, solution and certainly working on a iPhone 6 plus which is an old phone um, you can't argue with uh, how well it works If you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, if you hated this video give me a thumbs down and as usual please subscribe to the channel, I'm struggling to grow and I need your help. So if you can subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and I will catch you on the next one.